This morning, about twenty ten tally. Financial with the comedian, it's coming most sadly. 103 million shillings. Actually, it is rumored that it's supposed to be 195 million shillings. Uh, but uh, they are still negotiating. Name Mami Emmanuel Domba Gamba. It's actually supposed to be 195. So 103 is little. Dongo Toa was actually saying some have already received it, mm. but if he doesn't receive his, he's going to strike. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to find out. Do you think this is uh, the right accountability for taxpayers' money? Do MPs need this money? Really, million to come your bullet motor gang or the MP, Chisoboka, Wali Katuja Pomsa or you get in Jagalantan Kilo, several Guadim Casson. Where would it are a chint waste? Or would it out here? Chipu is such a opposition. Yes, Robert, you party of the tea, but a little gamba, the party of the Muni Dagala, a Mabu, Mavi, never took up full of Saint Tazo. Told it a young nigger. ฟูนิตอลาสวากาบันนาเกอาชมุตุฟุซอบาเซตากาเนงาเซนเตซเซตากาเคนเดซบวามุนจีบากาเมวตูดิอานาวามิดวายากาบันทิบาเนตวายเ
profits mm, yeah. around 150,000 yeah. and people are buying cars and wow. they yeah. even have salary mm, yeah. they have businesses they have yeah. so many things mm. so to an extent it's unfair but if they could do their work perfect then they would deserve it then they would deserve it <laughs> <laughs> we talked to god but who is the who is a policy analyst and uh, executive director of advocates uh, coalition for development and environment mm. <laughs> <laughs> accord and this is what he had to say about the 103 million for mps check this out the word go we, we need to realize that our mps our other public officials actually should be entitled to getting vehicles or getting facilitated in terms of transport uh, I think the, what we are failing to appreciate now, what that debate is not appreciating is that the, the choice of the decision to allocate money to MPs now essentially shows the insensitivity of government uh, as far as the pain that the people of Uganda are going through. Uh, because we have teachers who have been fighting for a pay rise and and those teachers cannot get money because government has said you have no money. We know that uh, there are no medicines, there are no drugs in health centers across this country. We, we know that their health centers are understaffed. So the, the choice of members of parliament and the government to take money at this time when everybody is paying, including the business community, is actually, basically it shows you how the government has become increasingly insensitive. Maybe I should not even say government, how politicians have become increasingly insensitive to the pain that the people of Uganda are, fe are, are, are feeling now. There are so many priorities, there are so many unfunded priorities that impact on people's lives directly, uh, which we are not addressing. And, and therefore, the decision that the government can be buying cars for MPs at this time, I think it's a, it's a wrong decision. <laughs> Uh, Mr. God Bayaga, Manti, this is a wrong decision given what's going on uh, in the country. They are giving them money. actually away. Do you work for government because you, you, you seem to... It seem like, okay, we don't care where that money is coming from. Let's make it clear. We don't care where they got it from. What Do you understand what I say? Uh, you have to know that is, uh, how the country goes. Right. How does it go? Uh, the way you learn how to go. The way you see it. <laughs> yes, he is entitled to sit on the fence mm. as uh, we drown in poverty. Right. Yeah. But some of us cannot just sit back. No, no, I'm not saying to sit in the it fence. Is okay. It is okay. Uh, you are missing, you're quoting him. Sorry. Uh, but sorry. the position I'm trying to make is this mm. at a point, we have to take a stand. That's right. Now, if you maybe let me leave him. Mm. I don't see me don't continue. We continue. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> continue with me. My point is this: Uganda at, got independence at the same time, more, more or less at the same time with Ghana. Yeah. I may be wrong. Maybe by a year or two. Mm. Uganda's economy sustained a very, I mean, the civil service in a very good way. The civil servants were happy at independence. The same applied in Ghana. Now, the teachers in Ghana are far much better than our teachers here in this country. If you consider East Africa, our teachers are the worst. That's true. 
If I'm wrong, it may be by just a small margin. Now, for Parliament to award itself 103 million for vehicles, not for any other, I mean, they're already earning huge allowances. They're already earning um, the salaries, privileges. They get trips outside free. And a teacher has no allowances. And they taught them. A teacher does not get transport from his school to take him to work. A teacher earns 200,000. This teacher has no medical benefits. If the teacher has a problem in the house, the wife is sick, the teacher has to battle to raise money, one, for transport, two, for treatment, drugs, and all that. Now, to allocate 103 million, not to the teachers who have been crying for a long time for a pay increment, and they have been getting promises, promises, all over the years. It is grossly unfair. Yeah. In fact, I don't know how the parliamentarians feel at this moment, um, pocketing huge amounts while the teachers some are, some are footing to go to school. They don't have money. We're going to go for a short break, but we, if you have a comment, please write to us minibazuganda at gmail.com. Post your comment on our Facebook page, minibazuganda. You can SMS us on 6565. Mm. Follow us on Twitter too, minibazuganda, or go to, uh, to YouTube and search for all episodes that pass.